right, let's get to work. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing a little bit of a haul and unboxing and talking about my favorite season, sale season. So this past week I participated in one of my favorite sales of the year, the Winner's Runway event. And what that is, Winner's puts together two, uh, two events throughout the year where they get last season pieces, vintage pieces of designer shoes, clothing, accessories, and they sell them for a fraction of the price. So the store opens at 8 o'clock, which normally opens at 9. People start to line up uh, as early as 7, 6 even, I think. One year I went and I got there at 7 o'clock to line up and there was people down the block and around the corner. Uh, it gets pretty crazy. I went last week and I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I am a huge sale shopper. Most of the pieces that I own or designer things that I own are sale pieces. Um, I shop Winter's Runway. I shop at uh, Century 21 in New York. I don't know if you guys have ever been there, but if you haven't, you need to go. Um, I do sale season in the regular department stores all the time and a lot of off the rack. I am a true believer of sales. Stick with me guys, I'll show you the way. Uh, I just believe that, you know, if you can save money on these pieces and you can wait a little while, then you should. And of course there are things that I don't wait for and um, I buy right away. I mean, it's not for everything, but it is definitely for most things. And it's fun. I mean, what is the fun in going to the store and just picking something up when you can fight a little over it? <laughs> I have seen two girls fight over a pair of Chanel boots. They were holding one at each and just like pulling it back from each other. Uh, that was not my fight then because I was a little poor. I, I ain't had it like that. So I was just like, y'all y'all fight. But I think today if someone grabbed a pair of Chanel boots that I ha was holding on to, you know, I might throw some bows. Anyways, <laughs> this year I was 15th in line and one of the girls ahead of me bulked, bulked it into the store when they opened the door. And she just like walked by the table and swooped up all the handles of the bags and she had like 16, 16 I think, Gucci bags up her arms and just walking around with them. She was just like, I don't care, I don't care. Uh, people were not impressed but that's, that's the nature of the beast is you beat other people to it. And people have beat me to things. Last sales season I saw this girl who had a vintage, or vintage Louis Vuitton trunk. And uh, my, one of my dreams, my home interior dreams, is to have a stack of Louis Vuitton or Goyard trunks in, as like a replacement for a coffee table or, you know, just for decor. It is super fun. I love it. I think I will continue doing it for as long as I can. So let's dive into what I got. We will start with clothing. I have got, or I got two pieces of clothing that I will not be trying on because I am going to Fashion Week next week and will be wearing them. So you guys have to tune in to my book for that to see how I style them. But I'm very, very excited for both. So my first piece is this wonderful Jacques Camus. I can't even say it. Jacques Camus, Jacques Camus, Jacques, Jacques Camus, Jacques Camus. Uh, anyways, don't roast me. This is just how I say it. I need a brush up on my French. This beautiful mini dress. Uh, it is pinstriped. It is ruched at the waist to give you a no waist who did. It has structured shoulders and kind of puffed out sleeves. And I believe the bottom of the sleeve you can make longer than your hands. So that is going to be very, very cool. I cannot wait to wear this essentially. The retail price for this is $600 and I got it for $200. So my next piece is these amazing. BBF pants. Look at them. So they are like kind of an olive color with a blue ribbon across the flapped panel for the front and down the sides. They're a little bit wide legs and they have these large cuffs at the bottom, which I am so excited about because it's very, very in this all. They're so cute. I love this top, it's asymmetrical. How unique is that? These retailed for $650 and I got them for $180. Now that's a deal. So next up we'll move to shoes. I always love shoes. I always love designer shoes. Um, they're just so unique and fun. I love, uh, I mostly buy shoes and build outfits around it. So first up, 
I got this classic pair of Todd Chelsea boots. Now, I had to have them when I saw them because they look quite like the acne Chelsea boots that every girl in the world has except for me. So good, so good. They are all leather and my favorite part about these is they have the rubber sole with these little rivets so I don't fall. And a lot of Chelsea boots I know don't have this because I bought a pair of Alexander Wang last year and they don't have this and I slipped and almost lost my life a lot of times. But beauty is pain I suppose, whatever. Anyways, I will be getting a lot of use out of these shoes. I googled them, they did not have a retail price on them. Um, but I believe they went for six or seven hundred dollars but I got them for two. Now that is a freaking steal because you can get regular shoes for like 200 bucks. I have some Zara shoes that are 200 bucks for. Mm, that's awesome. Next, I got a pair of Brunello Cuccinelli and this is insane. Like, I bought them and I looked at the price tag on the box because they have them and I'm like, holy crap, that is quite some savings. So this retails for like $2,100. That's insane. <laughs> insane. And I got them for 500 bucks. They are a platform Oxford. They're so cute. And they're so in right now. Like, everyone does it. I think what Stone McCartney has one that I've been dying over. I just haven't decided which ones I want yet. I do have a pair of products that have platforms too. And I mean, I grew up in the Spice Girl era. So, I mean, platforms, we go way back. So, I cannot wait to style these and wear these. They're gonna be so fun for the fall. Last but not least is my favorite. Um, I have gotten most of my designer bags by sale. Winners is definitely where I got, I've gotten a lot of my designer bags for a fraction of the price. So the first bag I got is the bag that uh, when it came out, I think every blogger bought it except for me. Uh, I was pining over quite a bit. I just couldn't decide between the big version and the small one. I came across the Chloe Fay bag. It is so cute. I got it in the black. At the sale, I saw it in that burnt orange color and a big, a large black one and this one. Um, I didn't choose this one. It was the only option I had because the other girls grabbed the other bag. But, I mean, small mini bags are so in season this year that I feel like I'm going to get so many uses out of this. And surprisingly, it is so spacious. Like, I didn't know you had that many compartments. Anyways. This baby came with the authentication information in the back. It did not come with a dust bag, which is kind of unfortunate, but I guess that's the, what you get when you're shopping sale so much. Sometimes you don't get a box and sometimes you don't get a dust bag. I just gotta find an extra dust bag or something to stick this in or stick this in a different dust bag. This baby retails, I think, for $1,700 or $1,900. Um, and I got it for $1,000. So that is quite a steal. I'm very excited. Plus it's in black. Like you can't go wrong. You can wear this probably forever. Get this will never really go out of style. Love it. So next up, my favorite find, this winner's runway sale. I am obsessed with Fendi Monsters. Uh, since they came out, I've been dying to get the backpack. I do have a little monster keychain that I'm obsessed with. Um, so when I saw this, I had to have it. And this is a mini baguette, and it is mini. Like, very, very mini. They weren't lying. But when I saw it, I was like, I need it. I need it so much. You can tell by the box, it's puny. And it comes with the box, the dust bag. Look how small the dust bag is. <laughs> like, that's the cutest thing you've ever seen. I can't. It is so adorable. It literally fits nothing. I think it fits my um, card holder, which is good because um, then I can put ID in here. Maybe a lip gloss, but maybe not even that. This is my iPhone 7 Plus. And this is my iPhone 7 Plus trying to fit into this bag. It doesn't. This baby retails for two grand and I got it for one. It is so cute, I don't care. Like, look at these fuzzy eyes and these crystal eyeballs. I think this is like a peridot color, but my light is on so you can't really tell. But isn't it freaking adorable? <laughs> it also comes with the authentication information inside. So you know it's real. So you know it's real. But yeah, 
this is definitely not for function it is entirely for fashion i'm so excited though i think it's the cutest thing in the world i will be carrying my phone and my keys and everything else in my hands when i carry this but it's okay it's worth it because i love it Oops. so i did say i don't always shop sale there are things that if i find them in the store and need to have them right away uh, I will buy, um, especially if they're at a reasonable price because there are designer brands that do not put their things on sale. So in those cases, I buy the bullet and I just get them. So I went to Gucci recently and got myself a little something something. So I went into Gucci uh, looking for these actually, but in the tortoise or brown colorway. Uh, the store here did not have them. So I tried on the black, but I have so much black, everything. And they had the classic green and red Gucci colorway. Focus. Okay, there you go. Focus. And the inside is also green and red. And these are the sides. There's a little Gucci emblem right here. And the like cover most of my face. <laughs> and I love that because you know a girl sometimes needs to hide. Like really just hide from the world. So these were $485. And of course, because I bought them in the store. Oh, I didn't even notice that. They have a little bee on the bottom. Cute. They came with their case. And you had the option of like a turquoise, a purple, or I think a yellow velvet case. So I went with the purple. The inside is a satin yellow. And then it comes with the satin soft case. And the white thing. And the verbiage, if you care to read that. And I'm not the one who care to ever read the verbiage. So my next Gucci piece is this wallet that I saw on Instagram actually. I went into the Gucci store when I went to buy the sunglasses and asked the girl for it. I pulled up my Instagram and I was like, hey, where is this? Because I went online and I couldn't find it. And she was like, mm, that's because it's a men's wallet. And please explain to me who men, why don't you guys wear your, put your wallets in your pockets? Like, how is this fitting in your wallet? Whatever, whatever. So I got this Gucci monogram wallet with the snake on the front. I have been buying so much Gucci. So much Gucci this because I love it. They're freaking slaying everything. I need everything. I need it all. Uh, I'm already using this, so I will show you what's inside. Uh, it has a zipper. And inside it has three compartments. Two, three. And a zipper for coin. And it has... 12 card slots so it's pretty big holds quite a bit of stuff and if you're me you need organization so this men's wallet was 715 dollars i'm super into monogram right now so i had to go with this i think it's so cute love it well that's it for my designer sale shop and unboxing I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and leave me a comment below to see what you guys want next. Like I said, I will do, be doing a lot more of these every single sale season where I find these amazing steals and show you guys the way because everybody needs this like a shop sale because the more you save, the more you can buy. That's the words that I live by. See you guys next video.